Okay. I'll try to find another way around. Open it from the other side. You sit tight. All right, just try to be subtle. We don't want to attract any unnecessary attention. Subtle. Right. Got it. When you think of an Uncharted game, stealth may not exactly be the first thing that comes to mind, as most of Nathan Drake's adventures involve a lot of shooting, a lot of climbing, followed by more shooting, and then some crazy moments where a lesser man probably wouldn't survive. However, the challenge of stealth was something I always found really interesting, and I liked how in the Uncharted games you'd be rewarded with really cool guns that you could take with you and use later. So in this video I've just put together a couple of sections that you can either fully stealth through or partially stealth through and if you'd like to jump ahead to a certain chapter then check the description box below because I've put little links and stuff so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want to and I haven't done the museum level because that's like a whole level of stealth and it's pretty self-explanatory. So in the words of Nathan Drake, here we go. Okay kid, it's showtime. So starting off here, we're looking at chapter 4, and this happens at the very beginning. Now I know there is a bit at the beginning of chapter 3 where you do a bit of stealth, but quite frankly I don't feel like that's fully possible because you can take out the first few guys with stealth, but then there's two guys that stand at the top, and there's, there's just no way because they always see you no matter what you do. So I think that's you're supposed to fail because it's part of the tutorial. So basically this is quite simple, just keep back so that you don't distract any of those people and make them come out of their walk cycle. And that's all there really is to it. And my general rule of thumb just to be safe is not to take someone down when they're in mid-sentence. Just, just to be on the safe side. That's right. Moving on to chapter 10 now, this happens at the very beginning as well. I really wanted to see how much of this was possible to stealth through before you have to start the inevitable fight that happens soon. And you can actually take out all the guys on the floor before you become sort of auto-detected. You'll see, as I take out the last guy on the floor, all of a sudden Nate just stops crouching. And when you walk up the stairs, one of the soldiers will automatically shout that they found you. So you can take them out with guns, or as I do in this video, I just run around them and melee them, and then start the shootout. So basically the strategy for this is just to be patient, it takes a little bit of time because they're all walking around slowly. Make sure you're looking out for where the other soldiers are because they're actively searching for you. They will see you more than people who are just sort of patrolling. But I found that coming to the left side first was better than going to the right side. <laughs> This is good. Oh, shit. They must have gone right through oh. Jeff and Elena. We've got to get back to the entrance. Spread out! Hit them off! On to the beginning of chapter 12 now. And this is probably an area that most people know about the stealth thing for it, but I just thought I'd add it in anyway. What I'd like to point out is in some of these areas, the soldiers don't actually start their patrol walk cycles until Nathan Drake is in the right place, if that makes sense. Like, I could take my time here. I'll like take this guy out first. And those two down there won't actually start walking where they're meant to go until Nathan gun. Drake touches the floor. And you'll see it does take them a while to start moving. 
and also didn't want to interrupt their little conversation that they had at the beginning. So you can just take your time in sections like this. Also, you can take out armoured guys using stealth. That's something I forgot that you could do, actually. I was like, oh yeah, you can do that. Also, trying to get the stealth thing to actually work sometimes can be a little weird. Like, you'll see in a sec, it takes me a couple of times of Nate doing that with... I don't know, you'll see the motion when it comes up, but for some reason I wasn't in the correct place to do it. But I think it's because the guy might be walking, that's why it's a little bit dodgy. So you can just sort of wait until he gets to the end here like I just did. All clear. So this is somewhere in the middle-ish, maybe beginning middle-ish of chapter 13 and I thought this was a good place to do a little bit of stealth because you can actually get around the guy with the turret later on so this could be quite good to utilise on harder difficulties. Make sure you have a grenade because what we're going to do is after we stealth these little guys here we're going to come around the back and then well you'll see I'll throw a grenade and then you can take out quite a lot of people and then you don't have to, don't have to worry about that pesky guy. Now this bit here you have to do quickly, so you take this guy out and now you have to just go for this guy. Don't let him get through that little bit, just get the guns afterwards because as soon as he passes that line then the guys in the other carriage will see you and if you wait for him to come back then he'll notice that the guy that you just took out is not there anymore and then you'll get spotted that way too. Now here, you can just shoot one of these guys, it doesn't matter which one, shoot one of them in the head and then they won't know where the shot came from so they'll all start walking into the train and this is where you get your grenade ready and you can just kill a bunch of them right now. You'll see that I just managed to take out all of them but one guy and it's just like a little grey soldier so he doesn't even count. Moving on to the beginning of chapter 15 now, there are three waves of enemies that happen in this section but you can only really stealth this first wave and then it's best to pick up all the little goodies they drop to use later because when the next wave comes in they already know where you are, I mean they even shouts bring it on or something so there's not really much you can do. I did try and look into stealth in the next section but it's not really possible because they kind of all don't walk around they just sort of stay grouped at the front together so it's not even possible to like pick them off one by one so where this section ends I like to be as far away as possible from them because they're gonna come in from the left where we just were so then you can like hang back there and get ready to take a stand Out. Jumping ahead now to chapter 22 and there are two areas here in this chapter that you can stealth through. This beginning one is pretty simple. You want to make sure that you collect the crossbow which is behind the truck. You'll see where that is in a minute because we want to use it for the next part of the stealth bit which is in the monastery. You can use the crossbow if you want to when you get it to take out some of these people there. As I'll show you in a bit there are other areas where you can get more crossbow ammo. 
But I just wanted to do it all with my fist because I'm Nathan Drake and I am a ninja badass. <laughs> So if you used your crossbow in that other bit, there is some more ammo as you walk up the kind of steps to it, but there's also some extra hidden ammo which you can find through this little bit. Now this bit can be really tricky, and I'd just like to note that sometimes at the beginning of chapters when you're going up to them for the first time, some of these enemies may not be in the same spot as they are in this, because here I retried the chapter and they do something a little bit different. So that grey guy there, he was actually, he actually looks over the edge of the cliff, but if you restart the chapter he'll always go and lean up against that wall. So the important thing here is to go fast in this bit, because you don't want these people to see you over here. And now we'll just kind of wait. now. I think I take this guy out with a crossbow. What you want to do is you don't want to go too far ahead because there's going to be an armoured guy that comes out and he just surveys the whole area. So you want to try and take out as many people before he arrives. And I think he arrives if you kind of cross this invisible sort of line here. So I'm just waiting for these two not to be looking. And sometimes I do go up behind this guy and take him out from behind, but I just want you to be on the safe side because I have enough crossbow ammo bullets now. As I killed that guy, you can just see in the far side over there that armoured guy shows up. Now, you need to distract him so that he's not just going to stand there. And I think me killing that guy has distracted him. But sometimes you need to like, you know, roll about in the middle just to get him moving. Because you don't want him to see you doing this bit. Now, to be safe as well, I like to go all the way around the edge. Because sometimes that guy there, he is looking sideways. I must admit, this time when I did it this time, I got really lucky. And I was able to take out everybody. So you want to take it really far down there. There's like a grey soldier. You need to take him out because otherwise he'll see everything that's going on. Now, when you take out this soldier that's standing right in front of us, sometimes, well, most of the time, that armoured guy will automatically go, he's over here, and then you're, you're done for. But somehow I actually managed to get away with it this time. And he's now confused and he's going to look for me. But even if he does spot you... It's just him because the other wave of enemies won't actually come until you've taken him out. So you can just, you know, take your time, let Elena deal with it. Elena almost screwed this up for me. I was almost mad at her, but thank God she didn't. There's more of them. Moving on to chapter 23 now, and this happens somewhere in the middle. Now, people may know of this section because if you sell through this bit, then you get to miss out on a massive firefight that happens here where people with flipping hammers and RPGs and armor guys, the whole circus shows up. So it is advised to try and stealth them out, especially in a harder difficulty. And again with this bit, if you walk up to it for the first time, some of these soldiers may not be walking in the same way they are in this because I restarted the checkpoint. Something really weird happens here actually where this grey soldier, he's a bit confused and then he was confused forever. But if you just sort of stick with your convictions and know where you're going to go to cover and just hit circle straight away, you should be good. They shouldn't be able to see you. So just follow the little path and then you can be on your merry way. And we're going to come back and get this guy off with him. We want to get that guy over there first because what you don't want to do is take someone out in another guard's line of sight because if he sees something's going on while he's walking about then he'll just call all his friends and then we're going to be in for a whole heap of trouble.
So this is another tricky section that happens towards the end of chapter 23. Uh, you want to pick up the crossbow over here because we'll need that in a sec. Now that guy up there, he doesn't actually start moving back down until you jump over, so you'll need to do that. I mean, you could always just crossbow him, I guess, but I want to save my crossbow shots to see how many people I can take out in the next bit. Whilst the crossbow is a one-shot kill for normal soldiers, armoured guys, you have to do two shots to the head, so you can't really use it on them because then you'll be discovered. And it's in this next little bit where things get a little tricky and you may not be able to do it like first time, but just, you know, a little bit of practice, a little bit of patience and it'll go a long way. So over here, we want to wait to take out this guy because those two armoured guys, if you take him out too soon, they'll automatically see you even if they're not looking. So I'm just waiting until they're as far away as possible. And while you're doing this, you just scope out the area, see who else is around, because there's a couple of little soldiers up there. There's the guy on the turret, there's another guy just sort of waiting there, and there's also a couple of guys around this corner. I was looking for a way to take out some of these armoured guys, but I really don't think it's possible, as there's just too many people around. And this guy, when he walks to this bit, he doesn't come near enough for you to, like, grab him and yank him around the corner. The number one guy you really want to make sure you take out is the turret guy, because that'll save you a bit of a headache. And after that, anyone else you can take out is a bonus. Here we are in the final area to stealth through, and this is chapter 25. Now I still have the crossbow from the earlier encounter you have with the guardians, so make sure you pick that up, take it with you, as the crossbow is very handy as it takes out guardians in, I think like one or two shots, so you definitely want to keep hold of that because they come after you kill the soldiers. But we are going to use two shots to take out some of those faraway people. Now it's good to stealth in this bit anyway because we, we just don't want to wind up the Gatling guy. That's the last thing we want. So if we just go around, take these people out silently. Make sure you have four grenades. Like this guy drops a grenade anyway. I have four from an armor hoarder. And then we can go around and just grenade the hell out of him in a bit at the end. The good thing about this bit as well is these guys, they do drop nice weapons to take with us in the future. Now you don't want to, don't jump off this bit. Make sure you quietly, carefully jump off that bit because otherwise that guy will sort of he'll be disturbed. You can get quite close up here to crossbow these two behind. And if you move over here, just don't shoot the invisible wall like I do. Now after this, we're going to go down a little gap, hang off the ledge, and then just throw all our grenades at that guy so that he ain't going to harm a fly anymore. And that's about it, really. Then we'll just go back go back to a safe bit and then you can take out everybody else. So there you have it, places in Uncharted 2 you may or may not have known that you could actually stealth through some of or fully. Let me know if I've missed any or if you think there's another section that I could tackle because I'd really like to know and I'd give it a shot. But I hope this might have helped some of you out or at least been somewhat interesting and thanks for watching. Were you impressed? Got all those guys all by myself? I don't know if I use the word impressed. <laughs>